hello friends welcome to my youtube channel so friends today i am going to discuss about uh, soft phones so uh, in simple web environment uh, you might have used various open source cheap uh, soft phones which are freely available uh, uh, these soft phones are very useful while making outbound calls uh, to uh, uh, use testing purposes or even for commercial purposes also these soft phones are widely used so the uh, so the very known soft phones like uh, these are like x light bright x light phonal light kapanga so there are so many other soft phones are there i will show other soft phones in another video but today i am going to discuss about few of the soft phones which are widely used like phonal light x light kapanga these are uh, widely used uh, soft phones so uh, <clears throat> here i have opened uh, x light this is uh, this is called bria this soft phone is a uh, paid version of uh, x light so friends before starting uh, i will show you all the configurations how to configure all these phones uh, today uh, and how to make calls uh, so these are the soft phones uh, widely used so before before starting this uh, discussion ahead i will recommend you to check all these videos first like uh, mm, these SIP web RTP related videos to get good understanding of SIP and web. So friends, let's start today's topic. So, <clears throat> so here uh, it's a phonal light. Uh, I already downloaded the EXE and I have installed that uh, EXE here. So this phonal light phone is, uh, uh, you can use it for commercial purposes as well. As well. So, uh, how to configure this Phonal Light uh, soft phone? So, Phonal Light soft phone has uh, uh, here you can put the server details. Uh, server details is the proxy or register server details. Here you can set the registration expiry. Here you can set the domain or realm. If your stand server is configured, you can put the stand server details here. So here is the user ID. The user is the uh, user that you have configured on the server. So once you uh, register with the, your EPBX, the EPBX provider will provide you the username and password. So this is the username. This is the password and here you can put the display name basically the display name is always like the username only authentication username is the username and phone number is the uh, number username only so network options it allows it uh, this is the local c port so where this uh, soft phone will register like uh, the default is used 5060 if you want to change it to something else you can change the local port here the preferred connection type uh, default is UDP you can set it to TCP or TLS if you want to secure connection you can set the TLS and if you uh, so these are few of the options like Windows firewall dual stack and QoS all these things you can uh, monitor here so the important thing is the codec selection so when a call will come <coughs> which codex you want to use for communication so here are multiple choices available so basically uh, we mostly use hello and you know rest of the codex we mostly ignore so this supports multiple codex but we mostly use hello and you know uh, codex eco cancellation and all this you can uh, set and certificate here you can put the server certificate and client certificate here if you set the network type preferred connection type as tls then you have to put the tls certificates here so here you can put the tls certificate <coughs> and once you all the configurations are done you can save it once you save it uh, with the correct details, it will get registered with the server. So once your uh, server is registered here, you can put your uh, put your numbers like this. You can put your number or number at the rate uh, server IP to dial a call. 
So once call is connected, you can use these uh, features like to hang up the call or you can originate the call to connect call. So all these things are available here. So these are all available configurations. So you can create your profile as well. Like once you save first time, it will ask for the profile details. So here, is, here are the profile details if you want to uh, create multiple uh, users, multiple uh, configurations. So here you can do, you can add, add new contact, you can add new, you can remove the old configurations. So all these things you can do here. So this is all about phonal light configuration. So let's see now about uh, this Brea software. Brea, Brea is the paid version of uh, x Lite phone. So <coughs> the configuration all are same only so in Bria you can uh, the same things you can do with the account settings uh, here you can add accounts here you can add SIP accounts and you can add the details here so I already created few more uh, few more details like if you, you can create multiple accounts and you can select multiple accounts or you can select one account and when you can register your uh, soft phone here like this so if you uh, select two accounts like it will show you up here two accounts now uh, see here I have selected two accounts I can switch between two accounts which account I will use for calling or receiving calls so I can switch the accounts here so but basically let's first see any account details what are the things so basically account details you have to put an account name then you have to put the details like here uh, user ID password and the server a server EPBX server where you register your soft phone so here it uh, it uh, it is the IP of the soft phone and here you can select if you are registering to this IP or you you are using domain you can select the domain if you are registering with IP you can register with domain and receive calls you can mark this option then you can put the IP here so once you uh, set ok and select that account it will get registered with that specific account details so other account related settings are like this uh, here you can uh, configure your voicemail servers uh, then here is the topology where you can select the firewall basically the default is auto detect firewall traversal method and I recommend it so this is by default is there which works for most of the cases but if you have your own stand server configured or something like that you can put your stand server details here server details here and if you want to change uh, port ranges like by default port is 5060 and if you want to change the RTP port ranges you can put the port ranges uh, you can select this option and you can put the port ranges here so while it will answer the call or while it will send the in, uh, invite request it will send the RTP port in this range only selected range only So other details like transport, it automatically detects transport, basically it's UDP only. Other cases like TCP and TLS also you can select. And here are a few advanced options like uh, if what registration expiry you want to set by default it is 3600 and if you want to change this registration expiry to something else you can set it like that only and enable session timer <coughs> this is uh, this uh, this is in dialogue uh, session timer by default it is inactive but if you will make it active and you set some value so when it will uh, receive an invite or while it will send an invite it will uh, it will enable the session timer so if you set it to 90 seconds so the session timer will get enabled and UAS will be responsible for uh, sending the reinvite so you know basically know the session timers I will discuss the session timer in another video but uh, 
the session timer every 90 seconds if you set it 90 seconds during the call uh, in dialog session timer will be generated and every 90 seconds uh, one reinvite will be sent uh, to re-establish the uh, or refreshes the session so the here are a few uh, keep alive if you uh, enable this keep alive it will send an option message uh, to the server to keep alive the session so these are all settings related to accounts let's see some settings related to other things like here soft phone you have preferences option in the preferences option there are multiple options are there like alert sounds these are not much related to calling uh, you can set your check your device uh, settings whether uh, microphone mic speaker all are working or not so these are all things now the important part is the audio codex so here multiple codecs are provided so whichever codec you want to use you just select it and you can uh, browse here so these codecs will get applied in uh, 200 ok when you answer the call based on the uh, stp these codecs will get selected preferred codec will get selected while sending an outbound call or while you call from this phone it will set all these codecs in uh, uh, all these audio codecs now there is option for video codecs as well it suppose this video codec is is a paid version x doesn't support all this uh, it's a paid version so uh, here here also you can select and uh, which code you, uh, audio codecs uh, video codec you want to use you can uh, move this way and it will send this uh, use this video codec so while making an uh, making a call to other numbers or it will select uh, if there is an inbound call to this phone it will uh, select the preferred codec from the list uh, in the order mentioned here so there is <coughs> some directory these are uh, this is related to call if you want to auto answer this phone like inbound call you want to auto answer so you can see here there is option after how many seconds it will get auto answer or so the, here you can select the auto answer option here so if you want uh, here you can also set the dtmf mode so it has multiple DTMF mode supports like RFC 283, CP info, uh, invent. So all DTMF mode it supports as well as you can uh, you can select multiple modes at a time as well. So these are all settings related to uh, Bria soft phone or X Lite you can say. So this is how it works. So another phone, Kapanga, this is also widely used. Uh, so these, uh, this Breya soft phone and Kapanga soft phone both supports video, uh, video codec. So you can make video calls with these soft phones as well. So Kapanga has uh, various features like you can go to configurations. So Kapanga has uh, general settings where you can set your uh, audio video codex enable camera all this option you can set here and here is one configuration important configuration which interface you want to use for calling purposes you might have multiple interfaces connected to your system so you can select which interface you can use uh, you want to use for calling purposes so the uh, best thing with Kapanga that is uh, one feature that is not supported on other phones like x Lite or Bria or x Lite, Bria or Phonolite, they can call only when the phones are registered. But Kapanga can call IP to IP calling without registration also it can make calls to other phones. Uh, I mean it can do IP to IP calling without registration also so these are general settings but where you will do the uh, account configurations 
so here call control settings are there so in call control settings you can uh, do the proxy configurations where you can pull the proxy IP proxy IP and port and all these details outbound proxy details then you can put the authorization user header password all these things so here is the parameter related to username and password all this uh, transport and security and media related parameters are there here audio video codecs are there whichever uh, codec you want to select you can select and you can put it this way so it can it can support audio and video both so this can be used for video calling as well so these are uh, related to settings uh, so here you can see the codec settings as well so friends these are all about the system uh, uh, these three soft phone settings if you have any query you can let me know in your uh, comment section uh, so uh, I will upload more videos related to other soft ones and I will show how to use all these uh, soft ones as well so friends if you like this video don't forget to uh, subscribe to my channel and also to like share these videos as well once you subscribe to my channel if I will upload new videos you will get a notification here so friends uh, this is all about the soft phones now. I will upload more videos related to this. Thanks for, thanks for watching this video.